O sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Sue forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to, to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigned. The word also shall be established, that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the, ne judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let their sea roll, and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful, and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the, the earth, he shall judge the, the world with righteousness, and the people with his truth. This the millennial reign of Christ, and the new song will be sing there. But of course we have, in our everyday life, we have always reason, sing unto the Lord, and praise his name. Sing unto the Lord, all the earth. The king is on the ground, Revelation chapter 20 verse 4. The maker of the earth is on the earth. Not only are its inhabitants to sing, but it's to sing. See Psalm chapter 96 verse 12 and 148 verses 7 to 12. Offerings will be brought directly to him at Jerusalem verse 8, where his courts will be. Solomon 2 Chronicles chapter 9 verses 1 to 9 is the type, which is fulfilled in Isaiah chapter 2 verse 3 and 66 and verse 23. The glory, verse 3, that is to be declared is not the gospel of the grace of God, nor it's the gospel of the kingdom of heaven, nor what Paul calls my gospel, Romans chapter 2, verse 16, nor is it the everlasting gospel which is preached in the last half of the tribulation, Revelation chapter 14, verse 6. The glory and the wonders that are to be declared among the people are that the Lord reigneth, verse 10. The Lord made the heavens, verse 5, and he shall judge the people righteously, verse 10. Prophesying is out. See Zechariah chapter 13, verse 3. And faith as a means of salvation is out. For the earth's inhabitants will all be in the shoes of Thomas Didymus, John chapter 20, verse 29, who walk by sight and not by faith. John chapter 20, verse 25. The constitution of this millennial kingdom is given in Matthew chapters 5 to 7. Salvation by grace through faith in the finished work of Christ is not in this constitution. It's now. That explains why all unsaved religious social, political, and educational leaders approve of the Sermon on the Mount, even if they can't accept everything. See Matthew chapter 5, verse 22, for example, in it. When he cometh to judge the earth, verse 13, with righteousness, the heavens and the earth are to rejoice, verse 11. The cultivated fields are to rejoice, and the forests and woods are to rejoice, verse 12. The maker has sowed up. All the problems of the ecologist and environmentalist, etc., international socialist, are solved in 24 hours. So Earth Day, with its new age and its global citizens, will be commemorated once every 100 years as Interna International Fool's Day. Observe that this tremendous event will take place according to a book, and it, it's the words of that book that the judge uses when he judges the word with righteousness. John chapter 12 verse 48. Verse 13 says that the world 
and the people will be judged with the tr with his truth. Look what that means in John chapter 17 verse 17 and Psalm chapter 138 verse 2. It means what Paul, Romans chapter 3 verse 4 and David, Psalm chapter 51 verse 4 said it would mean. We know what moved mean moved meant in Psalm chapter 46 verse 5 and 31 verse 1. 93 verse 1 because all kinds of furniture are moved around before the advent see psalm chapter 18 verse 7 46 verse 6 and chapter 68 verse 8 then the earth cannot be moved because the righteous can no longer be moved psalm chapter 55 verse 22 israel can no longer be moved psalm chapter 17 verse psalm chapter 14 verse 7 and chapter 53, verse 6, and Zion cannot be moved, Psalm chapter 69, verse 35. Look at Hebrew, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22, for the interpretation, independent of all commendators. Thus, in verse 10, the word also shall be established, that it shall not be moved. In Psalm chapter 2, verse 11, the kings of the earth were told to fear before before him verse 9 they are to prostrate themselves at the feet of jesus christ not some wine-headed vicar and they are to kiss his feet as the woman of luke chapter 7 verse 38 did the whole psalm was literal and none of it was fulfilled before 2022 according to spurgeon who has been pretty famous in many kind of devotional matters which he explains from bible but verse one is the essence of the gospel proclamation according to spurgeon can you imagine that after reading galatians chapter 1 verse 8 9 12 and first corinthians chapter 15 and verses 1 to 4 why if that was the gospel you proclaim you would be cursed the very globe itself may be well be glad that its maker and liege God, Lord has come to come to his own, and the whole race of man may also be glad, since the since to every willing subject Jesus brings untold blessings. The globe is still under the curse one hundred years, more than one hundred years after Spurgeon wrote. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Why would the whole race of man be glad when 90% of the whole race was, has never been a willing subject to God or even subject to the law of God? Romans chapter 8 verse 7. There isn't one mention in the psalm of Jesus blessing any subject. In the millennium there will be disobedient nations who will not obey the instructions of Psalm chapter 96 verse 7 and 9. So at the end of the millennium, these people are dupes for Satan. See Revelation chapter 20 verse 8. The intimation is that just as mankind made gods out of the fallen angels of pre-deluge days, so some survivors of the tribulation will make gods out of angels who show up in the tribulation with Satan. See Revelation chapter 12 verses 7 to 9. Devotionally, there are all kinds of things that may be said about the psalm. All kings have wanted what the king of kings will have, verses 6 to 9. Honor, majesty, strength, beauty, glory, worship. Glory is certainly God's due, and 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20 commands it to be paid, verse 8. Holiness is said to be beautiful, verse 9. Holiness is beautiful because... It enables God to manifest himself. It proves that there is more to life than living for self. It maintains fellowship with God. It so that man can do superhuman things by God's grace and help. It pleases God. And it pleases God that you would believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Amen.